How's it going out there? This is Feed Your Mind and So. People have been reporting on strange solar flare activity. And so what they do is they watch this alleged real-time footage of the sun. And there's people that will analyze the solar flares. And there's all of these theories about the solar blast and what's going on with the sun. And so this footage that people are analyzing comes courtesy of the Solar Dynamics Observatory, which is called SDO for short. And this company provides the official live feed footage of the sun. And so many people have wondered, like, how do they even get that footage? Well, this device is not orbiting the sun, but it's actually said to be orbiting the Earth in a geosynchronous orbit, about 22,000 miles above the surface of the Earth. And this SDO satellite is said to contain three data collecting instruments. One is an extreme ultraviolet variability experiment. Another instrument is the helioseismic and magnetic imager. And the third instrument is the atmospheric imaging assembly. And so the helioseismic and magnetic imager is said to take measurements of the magnetic field of the sun. And it also studies the corona and estimates internal dynamics of the sun. And so the second instrument, which is the extreme ultraviolet variability experiment, this instrument measures the relationship between the extreme ultraviolet variations and the magnetic variations. And so what they discovered with this second instrument is that the UV blast of the sun interacts with the ionosphere, or what you could consider the dome firmament. And so these solar flares are said to actually interfere with satellite communications. And they're also saying this UV interaction also can heat up the atmosphere with solar radiation. And so when you apply this information to the dome firmament, it's pretty much the same thing. And so lastly, the third instrument, which is the atmospheric imagery assembly. Well, this device views the sun continuously in seven different extreme UV channels. And it is also said to measure the temperature of the sun. And so basically all of this information is collected by this SDO satellite and beamed back to NASA. The uh, Solar Dynamics Observatory is NASA's latest view of our closest star, the sun. SDO, as it's known as, is going to be launched on, uh, in February 2010 and really revolutionise our understanding of our Sun-Earth connection with images that are 10 times better than what we have on HD television, with uh, every image being taken every 10 seconds and continuously streaming down towards the Earth. This uh, tidal wave of data will, will be coming here to the University of Central Lancashire where scientists will try to understand what these observations actually mean and in particular what the sun's outer atmosphere is, is all about. And so what they do is they collect this data from these three instruments and compile it into a computer program where this computer program renders a CGI image. And so then NASA pretty much colors in the sun a nice bright orange and create some cool animation to make it look like a ball of fire and they also add these neat little solar flare emissions from the sun and match it up according to the data that they have collected for the day so the sdo is said to collect this data every 10 minutes and so every 10 minutes this data is collected and a new image is rendered <laughs> ref for a minute because so many people accuse me of lying to them they tell me I'm using false colors okay I'm not okay the colors that you see on any image from the the solar dynamics observatory they're not false colors they're just lies okay in general you can't see the light that we're trying to show you um, we if you want we can show you we have 36 million images from our spacecraft right now. I can show them all to you in black and white. Would you like that? Or would you rather see that cool orange that I showed you before? The temperature so for all of you out there who thought you were analyzing and observing actual live footage of the sun, this whole time you're actually analyzing a cartoon image.
And so that also makes me wonder if these solar flares are even what they are telling us they are. And so when you compile a day's worth of imagery together, this computer program will create a movie for the observer to see all of the sun activity that was going on throughout the day. Okay, and the other thing you're going to see is that we, we have gotten into the practice of never showing you an image. You're going to see a couple images now because it just didn't work the way I wanted to do this. But you're going to see a lot of, of really funky stop-action movies because we have so many images, we just put them together and make movies out of everything. I mean, that's the cool thing about SDO is that in general we have some, we, we can look at what happened and what happened before and what happened afterwards and we're going to show it to you because that's what we're doing now. Okay, that's the sun you're used to looking at, right? Now I told you every one of these colors is a lie. That should be blue. Okay, but most people would not like that to be blue. They want it to be yellow, so it's been made yellow. Six million Kelvin, 10 million Kelvin. Oh, what's that? Who ordered that? That is what we really want to measure. That's the magnetic field of the sun. If it's white, it's magnetic field that's pointing towards you. If it's black, it's magnetic field pointing away from you. Okay, here's the sun today. I made these this morning. I downloaded several hundred images from SDO. I put them into some software and I made myself a movie. You can do that too. I didn't get any special data. This is data available at our website. And uh, you know, you, you got to do some programming. Um, you, know, you have to get some work into it. Um, but I and so I have just proven that live feed sun footage is a CGI cartoon presented by NASA. And so for the people out there examining solar flare activity, now that you know that you're examining cartoon footage, we must begin to question if solar flares are actually real or if they're just simply animation. So it's very possible that there really are solar flares, but it's also possible that maybe there's not. And so this SDO device is said to be a satellite. But when you start to research into satellites, there's some very interesting information that I've come across. So you can check that out on my proof satellites are not what you were told playlist for much more information. But you really don't have to rule out that the instruments that they say are collecting this data from the sun exist. I mean, the instruments could possibly exist and they could be somewhere here on earth or they could be somewhere at a high altitude looking at the sun and collecting data but i definitely don't think this thing is flying 22,000 miles in the air in a geosynchronous orbit that's for sure and speaking of geosynchronous and geostationary satellites that's something we'll probably have to look into a little deeper in another video so make sure you click your notification bell so you don't miss it and one last thing i would like to add is that now that we know that the live feed sun footage is animation, and we put that with my previous video, the earth is not what you were told, where I proved that all pictures and footage of the earth is all CGI imagery as well, you must begin to question all of the pictures that you are seeing that are being presented to you by NASA. I will prove to you in another video that pretty much all images that you see from NASA are CGI images. So really, what does that tell you about outer space? and the heliocentric solar system. This video should be the red pill for you to wake up from how you just believe all these pictures and images that you're seeing from NASA without even questioning them. Now is the time for you to start waking up and understanding that something is going on here for sure. So check out my heliocentric deception playlist for much more information. I'll leave the link in the comment section in the description box. Simply enter your email address at feedyourmind1.com. That way I can send you some cool news briefs throughout the week. It's completely free. Please chip in one to five bucks to help keep Feed Your Mind on YouTube by joining my VIP room. I'll leave a link in the comment section in the description box. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and click your notification bell. Include the title of your favorite video, and you're automatically entered into a chance to win a free gift from my Feed Your Mind pop-up shop. Hey, how's it going out there? This is Feed Your Mind. If you really support this channel, do me a favor and go to FeedYourMind1.com. The link's in the comment section and the description box. Enter your email because once we get enough support, I'm about to launch something new over there to really secure this platform. It's free to enter your email address. And once I get this thing launched, it's going to be worth it for all of you who signed up. And you're going to be the first to know and see what I got planned at FeedYourMind1.com. I'm hoping to have this thing launched by tonight or tomorrow, really. So enter your email address at FeedYourMind1.com. I can't wait to see you over there and show you what I got planned. This has been another episode of Feed Your Mind. Thank you for tuning in signing off. Bye.